So I'm just back gouging the uh, inside joint so I can I can get round here with the um, with the electrode to do to do the inner part. using a combination of the grinder and the die grinder. So you can see now that I'm completely through to the uh, inner, inner bead. Um, so I'm gonna go around this now with a um, 309 Molly stick rod. Got a uh, tiny little flipping pinhole there, Ow. and I got a bit of a bit of a uh, lack of fusion on the side face there. So that piece there's got to come out, and I've got to grind out that hole. So that's totally irritating. So I'm just uh, I'm just waiting for this to cool down a little bit more. This bit's cool enough, but this is still quite hot. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot of mass in this. Um, so I'm going to go two more runs. One there, and another one there. And just while I'm waiting for this to cool down, I'm cutting the next um, the, the blank out for the next one of these. Last, last run. Very last run. Yes. Finally. What a nuisance. That's on a massive hole in it. Last one. Oh, we're all good. I finished the, uh, the the welding on that now there, so it's done uh, on both sides. A bit difficult to see. Uh, and all the way through so it might not be the neatest in the world but what i'm confident of is that there are no or i'm 99 percent sure there are no uh, cracks or um, pinholes or slag inclusion or anything because i've been really careful to make sure that i grind anything out if there was anything or any suspicion i've ground it out and done it again so um that's about as, as good as i can get it <laughs>